Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Portal 2. Uh, this is episode 2, I believe. I mean, it's definitely episode 2. I'm 99% sure. I'm just not sure if I've already said it when I originally said, hey, welcome back guys. <laughs> so, yeah, let's see what happens. I'm sure, now right here. Okay, there we go. I'm up here! Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the, do you know what? It just goes to show, people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Okay. Looks like over there. Come on, friend! Uh, okay, I'm coming. Just, I want to see what this is about. Give me a second. Okay, so nothing happening over here. To the other side. Yes, thank you, Whitley. I'm coming. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. 100% not doing that. On three. Ready? One. Two. Three! That's high. It's w it's too high, isn't it? <laughs> All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me! Ow! <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I am not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Thank you. Great. Oh, Put me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Check it. Um, yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Could you just turn around for a second? Do it, Weasley. Come on. You can do it, buddy. Fine. Alright, you can turn oh. around now. Bam! Secret panel. Not open. While well, your back was turned. Pick me up, and off we go. Awesome. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Hold on, then. Where are we going? Seriously. How's the limit? Get my bearings. Um, just follow the rail, actually. <laughs> oh no. Yes, hello, no, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks, we're good. <laughs> Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. This is brilliant. Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're gonna have to go through her chamber. And she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. If you wanna just call it quits, and we could just sit here forever. That's an option. Option A, sit here, do nothing. Option B, go through there, and if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. So, if you've got any reservations whatsoever about this plan, now would be a tremendous time to voice them. <laughs> right now. No, Just I think I can handle it. I've right? missed the window of time to voice my reservations. Still open. I'm ready. Are you ready, Ridley? We're doing this, buddy. Okay, I'm going to lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. <laughs> this is brilliant. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Mm. A proper mania. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not going to believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now, so um, that's pretty much the whole story, you're up to speed. Don't touch it. <laughs> ah, the incinerator. This is where we threw our modules into the incinerator. <laughs> so something opened up behind it. That's pretty cool. So, uh, what I was trying to say? These stairs. Never mind. Jump! This, actually, look at it, that is quite a, that's quite a distance, isn't it? Okay, you know what? Uh, go ahead and jump. You've got you've got braces on your legs, so you're all set. Although no braces on your arms, though, so you're going to have to rely on the old human strength to keep a grip on the device and, by extension, me. So do be really. Ah! Oh, still held, still being held. You, that's a great job. You've applied the grip. We're all fine. That's tremendous. <laughs> Thanks, Ridley. Love the confidence. Ah! I just sorry. I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah, oh, I've just done it again. <laughs> okay, I'll talk once all the years. This uh, is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. Alright, don't touch anything else. 
not interested in anything else, don't touch anything else, don't even, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find an escape pod. But as soon as you look at something, it doesn't say escape pod, look at something else, look at the next thing, all right? But don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't, you understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Oh, I'm plugging in. Things are going to go bad if I plug you in. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Right. That's uh, God. He's quoting God. Oh, look at that. Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. No. Escape pod. Escape pod. It's uh, just moving yeah, up. we go. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. This should slow it down. No, it makes it go faster. <laughs> uh oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic! Alright, stop panicking! Uh, I can- I can- Ah, uh, let me up. Uh, let me stop her. Oh, there's a- there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just- I'll just hack. It's not a problem. A, 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 um, N. A, 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 C. Wait, did I do B? Did you have a pen? Start writing these Power up, complete. I don't- okay, 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 so, alright, new plan. <laughs> oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? Wait, I've been now. really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Ah. Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh no, 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 no! Ah. Okay, look. We both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. This is huge! How long did we fall just now? The incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. Ish. Not a good time. Thanks for moving that for me. Okay, so before we proceed, I just wanted to I shouldn't because... Hey buddy, are you okay? Come here. Are you good? Oh wow, okay. Everything keeps falling down in, into the incinerator. Very smart. There it is. Hold on. There. Good. You had a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Hey, Once here we go again. Starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Okay, so I take it this is gonna be Gladys talking lot. I'll make my announcements after that thing. Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. Okay, I think we're on the right track again. What I was trying to say is in the previous episode, I noticed the sound was very low. The volume. So, um, oh look, it's this testing chamber. So, and I've played with some settings on my mic. 
which should hopefully sort that out. Um, turn up the gain. I'm just worried that you guys can hear me breathe because this mic is weird like that. Let me get that for you. I love this. This is so, man, nostalgia provoking, you know? Looking at the old test chambers and it's just destroyed. I'll just move that out of the way for and you. This ground. place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you are back with me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing for the tricks. rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. <laughs> Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. <laughs> so... Yeah, so I'm really hoping you guys can't hear me breathe right now. Because yeah, this is an ASMR channel. Oh, uh, would you look at that? Okay, so I assume this isn't as <laughs> um, But if you can hear me breathe. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. If you can hear me breathe, I uh, will just set my mic settings back to what it was. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Okay. Wheatley, hey buddy, what's up, yeah? What you doing? Uh, I've also noticed that the graphics is really bad. Or well, not the graphics, the uh, visual quality in the previous video. So I don't know what the hell that was about. What? 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 <laughs> what the hell just happened here? So I don't know what the quality, the video quality was all about because it's, it's supposed to be 1080p in uh, 60 FPS. So, but that's going to be a post-production issue which I'll look at when I post-production this video. <laughs> oh, I need my cube, of course. Let's see here, we'll open the portal right there. Other one right there, we'll just grab the cube and well off we go. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. <laughs> That's what it says, a horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. <laughs> that's, that's harsh. I love it though. It's freaking epic. Oh, and no, I haven't. Yo. A lot of things happening. I haven't yet had a chance to, uh. To, um. And what am I trying to say? I haven't yet had a chance to read some portal lore. So that I could tell you, get you guys caught up on the story and the making of and all of those uh, nice tidbits. Oh, look at this. The Vilify? Vilify? Vilify. Don't even try. Feels like a tr trial. Okay, okay, okay. Vilify, don't even try. Feel like a trial. I mean. The first part ran nicely and then it kind of lost to the end there. Sucker's luck, exile, too many variables, and clearly too many cans of beans. What do I have? Okay, I can't put a portal there. Can I put a portal there? Yes. Gonna have to get back out of here. Oh, uh, that's Ratman's art again. Yeah, which nicely leads into me making excuses for not having researched uh, the lore yet. But it's definitely something I'm gonna get to, probably right after this video. No, actually right after this video I'm gonna get back to work, because I've got an actual job. 
But then next episode, hopefully, I should be able to tell you guys some making of stories and just catch up on the lore between Portal 1 and 2 and you know, all those uh, basics, really. That's what it is. I guess you're not this. Ah, this can come. No. How's that gonna work? So this can come through here, let's say. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. Gee, thanks, Gladys. That's very, very kind of you. Okay, so let's see here. That didn't work. Whoa, what's going on? I'm on the floor. Oh. Ah, that was disorienting. Okay, so that triggers that, but from this angle, I can't really do that. Uh, from over here. Oh, I can do it from over here. Okay, okay. Let's try that again. Blue go there. Orange over here. I mean, why not? Then that one goes there. Then I need to find a way to get up. Yes, made it. No, 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 no. No, don't fall down. Oh my. Ah, sigh. Okay, let's try that again. Any minute now, I expect to uh, expect to beat this one. Okay, so blue goes there, orange goes there. Then I'm gonna run and jump. Ah, yes, got it. And then that goes there. Cool, sorted. Just took off an hour, but we got it. Okay, off we go. Ah, I forgot to walk around the elevator. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Mm, can't go through there. What I love about Portal 2 is they really managed to get that feeling of this vast, infinite, loving facility down. Like in Portal 1, you do get the idea that this place is huge. Like, really huge, but not in the same way that Portal 2 does it. Like, Portal 2 makes it feel as though the entire place is changeable. You know? Like, she can literally change whatever she wants or about any part of what's going on. What's going on? Let's just take a look here. Did that fall? Oh, here you are. In Portal 1, you still it still feels like just normal building. You know, with like corridors for humans and places from which to watch the tests. You know, like that window over there. In Portal 1 you can actually, there's areas where you can go behind, behind the test chamber and you can see through that window into the test chamber and it makes it feel like a human oriented building. Whereas Portal 2 really like nails that feeling of, um, of it being an AI. You know, the whole building is an AI, is the feeling that I guess. Okay, yeah, I think I know what to do here. Let's just... and stop. And... Go, go, take my cube. I can tell that I'm gonna need it. Gonna need it. So now what? Oh, I should have kept up. The blue one should be... Here. Let's take a look, see? Just stand here, can you see? yeah, that looks fine. That looks fine, now I can put the orange one there. And off we go. Again, I'm gonna use my cube to shield myself from this and then I'm gonna carry on doing. I guess you there are go. listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Yeah. Thank you, Gladys. That was that was very uh, insulting of you to say. My feelings are hurt. Next. Okay, I think this is going to be the final test chamber for today. Um, it might not be. It might not be. I'll quickly pause. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faceplate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, no, that makes sense. 
Okay, I quickly just paused and checked how long this episode has been going, and yes, we will most certainly be ending it after this test chamber. There we go, another camera down. Yeah, that's our secret mission. Our actual mission is getting rid of all these cameras. You know, our on the record mission is solving test chambers and finishing the game. But our secret mission that only you and I know about is that we are actually trying to get rid of all these cameras. Okay, I need to catch that mid-air. Okay, and... No, too soon, too soon. I love the little... the, the, the little... tracks that play as you fly through the air. I get like sort of louder and more intense in the peak of the jump. Okay, here we go. Up, up! No, I could have taken it. I think my mouse sensitivity was too high. Okay, uh... Got you, thank you. And we're off. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Okay. I will see you guys in the next episode. Keep well. Take care of yourselves in these unprecedented times. <laughs> uh, and of course, let me know how you're doing, how you're surviving, how has life been since last we spoke. And um, like, comment, subscribe, share, all those lovely things, which would really help me out. And uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.